No representation is made that the quality of legal services to be performed is greater than the legal services performed by other lawyers. Many of you have now heard the term stepped-up basis and it possibly being eliminated, which is very concerning. I encourage you to schedule your free 15-minute consultation with attorney Harlan Mitchell to find out what you can do to protect yourself and your family. Schedule your appointment with attorney Harlan Mitchell by calling 256-216-9884 or by going to BamaEstatePlanning.com. Do it today. Boutique Air in Muscle Shoals, Alabama offers direct flights to Atlanta, Nashville, and Pensacola. Boutique Air service runs twice daily, seven days a week, with fares starting at $59. Follow Boutique Air Muscle Shoals on Facebook at Boutique Air MSL and book your flight through BoutiqueAir.com. Boutique Air. Where you can fly private for the cost of commercial. He's got a cold. Nothing to worry about. Just need a couple of stitches. Your COVID rapid test is negative. Oh boy, x-ray shows it's broken. Trust Trinity Medical Care when you need urgent care or routine medical care. Walk-ins are welcome or let Trinity help you virtually with telemedicine. Visit trinity-medicalcare.com for more information and follow them on Facebook. Trinity Medical Care, where your care comes first. Located on Governor's Drive in South Parkway. Experience the difference at Athens Bible School. The vision and purpose is to provide each student a quality education in a Christ-centered environment to develop the whole person spiritually, mentally, physically, and socially in safe and supportive surroundings. The solid biblical foundation permeates learning and culture in the classrooms and every extracurricular activity. Hey everybody, this is Daryl Worley, and you're listening to The Mark White Show. Hey, step up and make a difference like he does. Hey y'all, this is Jeff Foxworthy, and you, yeah, you, can make a huge difference in somebody's life. You just may not have figured out how yet, and that's why you're listening to The Mark White Show. Hi, this is Maggie Peterson. I played Charlene Darling on The Andy Griffith Show, and you are listening to The Mark White Show. Hi folks, this is Ricky Skaggs, and you're listening to the Mark Watt Show. Hello, I'm Gene Stallings, and this is the Mark Watt Show. Get off the sideline and get involved and make a difference in your community. You are listening to the Mark Watt Show. My daddy is your host, Mark White. Welcome to another edition of the Mark White Show. I am your host, Mark White, and right now on the line with me, I have Rebecca Hunt, known as Becky. And she has gone through a very difficult battle with COVID-19, 18 days on a ventilator. If you follow the Mark White Show page, you have seen several people who are still battling COVID-19, struggling in the ICU, trying to recover. And Becky is one of those stories of survival. Right now, she's on the line with me. Welcome to the Mark White Show, Becky. 
Thank you. Becky, if you would, tell listeners about your COVID-19 journey. Well, my husband called the ambulance to me. I was diagnosed on a Thursday, the 17th of December. And on the 21st, my husband had to call the ambulance. I was non-responsive. And when I got, when they got here, my breathing was 30%. They took me to the hospital immediately. And um, by the next day, my breathing had went to 7%. So they had no option but to put me on the vent. I stayed there for 18 days. And, um, of course, you don't really... I experienced a lot of pain. The vent causes a lot of pain, and it's very difficult to explain. But it it had it saved my life. Um, most of the time, patients that suffer the kind of breathing issues that I do, um, that I did, has only like a 95 percentile um, against them, and only a five percent chance of making it. And uh, you know. It was a hard battle, and I fought. I had thousands of people praying, which made a huge difference because it empowered me with the strength to keep, you know, fighting. And then, you know, um, the good Lord himself had a purpose, and I'm still here. But um, I went through 10 days of rehab after I was in the hospital, and they helped me learn at least kind of how to rewalk a little Um the wheelchair is my go-to, but um, I am able to walk so many feet with the walker now, which is a long way from where I was. Um, when I went to rehab, I couldn't even move anything but my hands. Be- I was on the vent for 18 days, and my whole body, um, I lost like, which I, you know, I knew I was overweight and all that, but I lost 81 pounds. And um, a lot of it was muscle is what my therapist, you know, are telling me. And so then when they finally put the feed tube, um, they put like 50 pounds back on me in a very short period of time. And, of course, none of that weight went back where it was. Now I'm in the therapist part of trying to rebuild the muscle part of, of my legs and my back and just, you know, I mean, just basically like having to learn everything over again. But I'm thankful, you know, God has brought me this far and I, I'm a fighter. I, I'll make it because I have a purpose, you know, and I have um, 11 beautiful grandchildren from 17 down to four. And, you know, that that's what I told them that, you know, going to church and my grandchildren, I mean, that's kind of, those are the, my grandchildren is what kept me fighting, I'll be honest, that, you know, because I told them, unless you've been on a vent, you don't really understand, but it's almost like your body's being blowed up like a balloon, and every ounce of me, even though I was not conscious, but I was hurting, I mean, it, it hurts, and, and I don't really have a good way to describe it. But it was very, 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 very painful. And um, so, you know, the doctors have took a lot of time with me when I go in. They ask me lots of questions. I was healthy. I um, was in the car industry. I worked. I walked. I was extremely active with the only issue really was I was vitamin D depleted, you know, but I was I was extremely active. And, I mean, it's no rhyme or reason to what happened to me, you know, as far as naturally most people that are unhealthy get it, you know, and they have issues. But that wasn't my case. And so, I mean, it, it things just happen. There's no, you know, explanation. And I know there's a lot of other people that, you know, have gotten sick and, and a lot of them haven't made it. At the time I was in the hospital, my pastor was admitted later um he was there for two weeks and we had two members of our church to pass away with it and i mean we're just a small church so it wasn't like we were close to each other or exposed um each other so you know covid is real um you can't live your life in fear 
but it's a real thing and it does change people's lives you know um there's so many things that it's affecting headaches and you know and everything you talk to the doctor they just say well it's covid related and um they've told me you know that it could take a year or longer they just don't know especially someone that had it severe like i did when my husband called the ambulance my breathing was at 30 percent i mean i was critical i had been diagnosed that thursday and by Monday morning, but my fever went really high Sunday, and I sent out an alert for my prayer people to be praying for me, and I just couldn't get it to break, so he couldn't wake me up, so the ambulance told him when they got here it was 30 percent, and the next day it dropped to 7 percent, and they had to put me immediately on the van, so it wasn't like there was like a whole lot of choices. It was just something you know and it's really hard when you're you work every day you you go and you function and then you have to come home and you can't barely get yourself out of bed and you see four walls that's that's extreme and you know and I'm thankful a lot of the prayer people that I'm a part of chains and stuff there's a few but there's not many that have made it you know and, and it's just sad. It breaks my heart. And I, I guess, you know, I don't mind saying I, I pray. I pray for everybody that I see. You know, I follow you and I follow what you post, Oh, you know. And it breaks my heart to see these babies. And it really blesses me when I see God intervening. And, and you know, we don't know why. And it's really not our place. I, I mean, the Lord talked to me some when I was in that place. And you know, it's not something that we will understand here. We just have to trust him. And that's kind of where I am now. Um, you know, it's hard. Um, it looks like when bills are finished, my bill, my bill from, they put me in on the 21st of, of December, and I got out of rehab on the 29th of January. And those bills combined with 50-something doctors and meds and all that stuff is going to be close to a million dollars. As a person that works, I'm like, you know what you can buy with a million dollars? You know, and my husband, he is, he's been such a blessing. Um, he beat cancer. And so that's kind of what has been tough because I had been doing, you know, everything. He had was diagnosed with multiple myeloma in September of 19 and he was given two to three months to live so he is a miracle in his own right he went through treatment and um, very aggressive treatment to try to stop it and the Lord intervened and he's still alive and this September will be four years so you know he's he's had to step up help me do everything shower and you know things that you know you don't really want to talk about but he's just had to do a lot of things and I I laughed he's never I've always took care of him myself and so I said it took 33 years for him to learn to cut on the wash machine the dryer (laughs) the vacuum cleaner you know the dishwasher he'd never done any of that stuff and uh so it has been a upside down you know and I, I laugh I tell him you know, I said, I don't have them hats no more, cooking and cleaning. And I said, I, don't, I wear them hats. You got to talk to, <laughs> you got to talk to him, you know. So we just, we try to make joke about it because you got to find something to laugh about and to be positive. And that's, you know, that's where I am. I'm, I'm just, I'm thankful. I'm not where I want to be, but I've come a really long way from where I was. And I'm just thankful that the Lord decided to keep me here. And, you know, um, I'm, I'm one of those, I believe the Lord, you know, he has a lot of people that die for him. You know, he wants us to live for him, to show our light, to bless people and encourage people. And even where I am, I see people in a lot worse shape. And I try my very best to just encourage people, pray for people. You know, I'm not going to be stopped just because I can't do everything I want to do. You know, one of the crazy parts of this, and almost every person I know that's had COVID, is the hair comes out. 
And, you know, and I made a joke with him. I said, I, you know, they said he would lose his hair. And I prayed his hair in. He never lost his hair like most patients do with chemo. And I told him he's slacking on his job because I'm getting hand pulls the hair out. And I told him, I said, look, now you got to get to pray in here because I prayed for you not to lose yours. And mine is, I mean, you know, it, it's, I've never seen anything like it. But um, former pastor and, and my pastor now, I mean, all of them. So there's a lot of side effects with COVID that probably a lot of people don't realize, you know, unless they've had it. And people that's had mild cases, they may not ever, you know, understand. And they look at you. I've had a couple people, you know, me in the wheelchair. My husband took me to eat at a little restaurant in Ozark, which we used to go. And I ventured and, and we did that. And, you know, the man said, why, why are you in the wheelchair? Because I look, I look normal. You know, I mean, I, I I don't go out looking like what where I am. I, I try to fix my hair and some makeup, and, and my husband began to talk to him and share our, my story, and he was like, wow, I never knew it did all that. You know, and a lot of people don't realize, you know, just because you look okay doesn't mean that you are. And so, it, you know, it has been hard, and... Um, I told my husband I prayed about it before I ever tried to do any kind of GoFundMe or fundraiser. And and uh, some of the auctions did a couple things, you know, and that's helped. But, you know, it's just it takes a lot. I mean, there's just a lot of things that people don't think about that you have to have when you come home. You're not able to function in an everyday life. And some people are, you know. I mean, some people are able to but then other people really have you know a lot of of road ahead of them most people that make it after long periods of being on the vent and being sick their story is positive but they have a lot of rehab and stuff so i mean right now i i'm thankful i have in-home health that's coming for my rehabs so i don't have to get out i don't have to on days that I don't feel like, you know, even getting out of bed hardly, I'm able to still, you know, see them. And, I mean, they've helped me. They, you know, they encourage me. And so I'm very blessed to have a, a good team working with me right now. And a lot of people don't realize. They think they're healthy and they're not going to get the stuff. And I was healthy. I did everything that I was supposed to do. I wore masks. I washed my hands, we pulled our clothes off, put them in the washing machine, sprayed Lysol. I did everything that I could possibly do, but I still got it. And, you know, it's no rhyme or reason to it. And um, it's just the good Lord, lots of prayers, and had to fight to live. And I'm thankful that the Lord spared my life. Rebecca, if it's okay with you, we're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, I want to tell listeners how they can help you during this time. I know that you've mentioned medical bills, and there are other expenses associated with the treatment you have received, and of course, you're now at home. We want to try to help however we can through the Mark White Show. Will you stick with me? I will. Great. Right now, folks, we're talking to Rebecca Hunt in Dothan, Alabama. She's sharing her COVID journey. I hope you'll stick with us as we continue to share her story. You're listening to The Mark White Show, and I am your host, Mark White. A little wink, a pat on the back, a big old hug, a little laugh. We can make a difference, all we have to do is try. Every day's a chance to change somebody else's life Let's all do something good today The best way to buy, sell, and experience land is with Jonathan Berryhill. For your farm, ranch, recreational, hunting, timber, and acreage needs, contact National Land Realty Professional Jonathan Berryhill at 256-874-7354 or email at jberryhill at nationalland.com. Be sure to follow Jonathan Berryhill with National Land Realty on Facebook. This is your land. 
Thompson Roofing and Construction is a locally owned family business serving the North Alabama and Southern Tennessee area. They are a Better Business Bureau a member since 2011 and a GAF Master Elite Contractor. Give them a call at 256-952-3309 or check them out on the web at 256roofing.com. They offer free inspections. Thompson Roofing and Construction. No representation is made that the quality of legal services to be performed is greater than the legal services performed by other lawyers. Losing a loved one is hard, but losing a loved one and not having an estate plan is even harder. Attorney Harlan Mitchell witnessed what not having an estate plan can do to families and decided to use his experience to do something about it. I encourage you to go to BamaEstatePlanning.com or give Harlan Mitchell a call at 256 216-9884. Again, that website is BamaEstatePlanning.com. Let Harlan Mitchell help you with estate planning. Do it for those you love and do it today. Boutique Air in Muscle Shoals, Alabama offers direct flights to Atlanta, Nashville, and Pensacola. Boutique Air service runs twice daily, seven days a week with fares starting at $59. Follow Boutique Air Muscle Shoals on Facebook at Boutique Air MSL and book your flight through BoutiqueAir.com. Boutique Air. Where you can fly private for the cost of commercial. He's got a cold. Nothing to worry about. Just need a couple of stitches. Your COVID rapid test is negative. Oh boy, x-ray shows it's broken. Trust Trinity Medical Care when you need urgent care or routine medical care. Walk-ins are welcome or let Trinity help you virtually with telemedicine. Visit trinity-medicalcare.com for more information and follow them on Facebook. Trinity Medical Care, where your care comes first. Located on Governor's Drive in South Parkway. Hey everybody, this is Paul Overstreet, and you are listening to The Mark White Show. Stay tuned, because Mark is doing some things on his show that's helping his community and uplifting people, so you stay with him. He drives into the city, works extra hard all day, finishes up early, so he can get away. Welcome back to the Mark White Show. I am your host, Mark White, and right now we are talking to Rebecca Hunt. She is a COVID-19 survivor, 18 days on the ventilator. She is in Dothan, Alabama right now talking to us, sharing her story, and she needs your help. And right now you can also help her financially. Welcome back to the Mark White Show, Becky Hunt. Thank you. Financially, there are very few people who would be able to afford the bills that you have received to be able to even put a dent in a million dollars worth of medical bills. You think about that amount of money. I mean, it it, it put me in shock and the stress that goes along with thinking about that. You know, I'm blessed that I have insurance and you know, but there's co-pays and, and other things. There's supplies that they don't pay for. And, you know, when you come home not able to walk, there are other things that you have to purchase and buy. And, you know, it's it's put a hardship like anybody. I mean, it's crazy to think about that amount of money. But, you know, my husband has been so supportive. And he told me, no, how can you put a price on a lie and he didn't care as long as I'm still here and so you know I'm blessed to have the support of my family my husband has been so supportive and I could not have done this journey without him certainly we appreciate your husband and his standing with you during this time Wayne Hunt we appreciate his dedication to you and there has been a GoFundMe that has been organized and set up for people to help with expenses and we're going to talk about that right now the gofundme is gofundme.com backslash help becky with medical bills and living expenses that is gofundme.com help becky with medical bills and living expenses what are the main things if you had a list to start marking off from top to bottom things that are very important to take care of right now financially 
Well, there's a lot of co-pays that go along with some of this. And, I mean, nobody, even with minimum payments that most people want to take at $25, you can't pay 50 bills at $25. I mean, we just, there's no way we can do it. I'm not able to work. And it looks like it could be a year before, you know, doctors say that I will possibly even be able to do anything. So right now, we, you know, our friends, family, and what my husband, you know, does is the only thing. Anytime you lose an income, it's hard. So, you know, of course, I want to pay the medical bills. So that's not a stress to me. And it will also help me with supplies, things that I have to purchase, um, you know, on a on a weekly basis right now until I get better. There are just there are a lot of things that people don't think about that you have to have when your body doesn't function like it did. So, you know, those things are very important, you know, and and I just hope to be able to help with my husband because all of this weight is on him and that's really really tough taking care of me trying to work it's just hard for anybody's mind to function at a hundred percent and so I just you know my 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 prayer is that if my story touches someone um that if they can support it and give they will but if not, please continue to pray that God would totally restore me because it is my desire to be able to function like I did and to be able to go back to work because I, I love the people that I work with and are around and I love life and I love being a part of my family and it's just my heart to be able to do that again. Is there an alternative way if people prefer not to use GoFundMe, do you have an alternative way for people to contact you or to be able to donate? Um, No, not at this time. I haven't set up anything. Okay. Um, You know, um, they could send me a message or, or, you know, I guess they could, you know, um, if they send me a private message, then I could, you know, maybe give them an address or something. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. If there may be an email address or some way to communicate, that might be helpful. You can yes, look up. I do have an email. Okay, Rebecca, if you want to share your email address, that'll be fine. It's Kingdom Enterprises Ten at Hotmail dot com. Great, and you can also message Rebecca via Facebook at Re- <clears throat> at Rebecca N Wayne. So it's Rebecca and Wayne. Rebecca spelled R E B E C C A, the letter N with a space, then space Wayne, W A Y N E, space Hunt, H U N T. That's Rebecca and Wayne Hunt on Facebook. You can also send her a message there. Rebecca, we do continue to pray for you and your recovery, and I do hope that this helps with your financial need with the GoFundMe, that there are people out there who will contribute and donate and that it helps you and Wayne as you move forward through this journey. Well, I really thank and appreciate you for your time, and I appreciate everything you do. I follow your program, and you are, are such a kind, wonderful person. You you share encouraging needs and then needs that we need to pray about, and you put people together that otherwise would not be together. So I really appreciate you and for what you do and what you stand for. Oh, well, thank you, Becky. I appreciate you, and I appreciate Wayne as well. So you stay in touch with me, and we'll continue to move forward on this journey together, okay? Thank you. Folks, we've been talking to Rebecca Hunt. She is in Dothan, Alabama. She's a COVID survivor, and we're going to try to help her moving forward. We want to help her fundraiser right now as she continues to face medical bills, co-pays, all the different things that go along with the survival of COVID-19. Of course, that GoFundMe again is GoFundMe.com. Help Becky with medical bills and living expenses. Look it up and support the fundraiser if you can. If you can't support the fundraiser, please share it. 
let people know about the fundraiser so that they can make a decision as to whether to support this effort. And I hope that you will do what you can to help Becky and Wayne during this time. When we come back, we're going to have a brand new segment called Your Friend Lisa Ann. I hope you'll stick with us. You are listening to The Mark White Show, and I'm your host, Mark White. Hi, everybody. This is DJ Thomas. You know, raindrops may be falling on your head, but on Kyler's Corner, she's living life sunny side up. You are my sunshine. This is Kyla Carter of Kyla's Corner. You can hear my segment every Saturday at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time and 11 a.m. Eastern Time on The Mark White Show. Remember to tune in every Saturday and always live life sunny side up. Please don't take my sunshine away. Is it time for a haircut? Go see my friends Philip Butler and B.H. Parker at Southwind Barbershop, located at 1637 Lee Street in Rogersville, Alabama. Give them a call at 256-247-5658. That's 256-247-5658. If you like hickory smoked ribs that fall apart at the slightest pull, or barbecue shoulders that are so slow smoked each tender bite melts in your mouth, then you are going to love Baby Jack's Barbecue. Baby Jack's Barbecue in Bartlett and Arlington. Try the barbecue chicken, beef brisket sandwich, barbecue potato, it is huge, or the Baby Jack trio, pork, turkey, or beef brisket sliders. You like wet ribs? They like dry ribs. Get one slab that has them both. Catering? Baby Jack's can feed a family or an army. Drive in, drive through, order online, or come in and set them in. Baby Jack's Barbecue in Bartlett at Highway 70 in Appling or in Arlington at Highway 70 just a block west of 385. Hello, my name is Christian Martinez. I'm a rising senior at Athens Bible School. My school is great because of the wonderful environment in which students can grow and flourish. We have great academics that include the university preparatory diploma and dual enrollment courses that lead to an associate's degree before high school graduation. All my teachers and the school's employees are Christians who are devoted to the welfare of students. We have an excellent student body, competitive sports program, and study the Bible first thing every day. It's a great place. Please consider joining us at ABS next year, or give that special child in your life the great opportunity I have. Mr. Cecil Batchelor is the one that started this business as Dependable Service Center. And even though now it's Green's Dependable Hardware and we're a true value store, our tagline is still your Dependable Service Center. We've tried to keep that alive for all these years. Mr. Batchelor really started a good business. We're really excited to be carrying on a long-standing tradition. It's the oldest retail store in the city of Russell. We're Green's Dependable Hardware, 15220A Highway 43 in Russellville. Alabama. We're right behind McDonald's or right across the street from the hospital. Number is 256-331-0123. The Dependable Service Center. High Five Liquidation is coming to Athens, Alabama. At High Five Liquidation, everything is only $5. Household items, automotive items, kitchen and bath items, air fryers, citizen watches, shop vacs, Instapots, crock pots, clothing, and much, much more. At High Five Liquidation, everything is $5. Located at 1206 Highway 31 South in Athens, just north of Ramona J's. Give them a call at 256-444-2682. You can also follow them on Facebook at High Five Liquidation. Stay tuned for the grand opening date coming soon. Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Quentin Aaron, and you are listening to The Mark White Show. I want to encourage people to be more kind to one another. We only have one life to live, and let's do it treating people the way we want to be treated in return. Spread some cheer, spread some love, be kind to one another. God bless. I couldn't read you by the U.S. mail. You didn't leave a very easy trail. I tried the telephone to no avail. Guess who loves you? Hello, 
again. It's your friend, Lisa Ann. This letter is to the friend who is building a legacy in the minds and hearts around them. The poem is titled, Earth Song. Throughout our life here upon this earth, we plant little seeds into the soil. And when the time comes to lay our bodies that we no longer need unto the ground, do we ever wonder what will bloom from the soil of the remains of the seeds we planted? What were they made of? Kindness, patience, faith, love, pettiness, jealousy, comfort, bravery, doubt? Upon the seeds we plant by our graveside that no one returns to, what will be remembered of us and the seeds we implanted in the earth song? This has been your letter postmarked from the garden. Until next time, remember, always light, always love, always home. Your friend, Lisa Ann. Once again, we appreciate Rebecca Hunt sharing her COVID-19 story with us. I hope that you will decide to support her GoFundMe, and that once again is GoFundMe.com. Help Becky with medical bills and living expenses. We also appreciate Lisa Ann Posey and the brand new segment called Your Friend, Lisa Ann. You know the Mark White Show, we're recognizing difference makers. We're sharing their stories to encourage and inspire us all. That's what the show's about. As Becky mentioned, we're here to unify. We're here to bring people together. I hope that if this show is helping you, that you will share it with your friends, your neighbors, and your family members. Let them know about The Mark White Show. Of course, you can follow The Mark White Show on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. You can also subscribe to The Mark White Show podcast now through TuneIn Radio, as well as Apple iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, Audio Boom, SoundCloud, Blueberry, and on YouTube. You have been listening to another edition of The Mark White Show. And this is your host, Mark White, encouraging you to find your purpose by making a difference in someone's life today. Well, let's all do something good and 